What's this? Students using iPods in the classroom? Is that a good idea? Well, as it turns out, it's a great idea. And not only is it changing the way that students learn, it's also changing the way that teachers teach. Now that we have the iPod Touches, my, my role as a teacher has changed a lot in that um, I've become more of a, a director of, of learning. Instead of uh, being someone who just presents the curriculum and tells the kids, here's what I want you to learn, the iPod Touches because they have access to so much information um, really helped me to be uh, someone who, who kind of points them in the right direction, lets them uh, figure things out, and then brings it back together as a group. I'm really more of a facilitator now. Um, of course, there are still moments of direct instruction and guided practice, but now with the iPods in class, and uh, every student has an iPod, I can uh, pose a bigger question or ask them to do a project, and they can use this device, the iPod, to, to do it themselves. Since I started using the iPod Touches in my classroom, I've seen a tremendous increase in student motivation to read and to learn. My fluency scores have gone up, and I've also seen um, much better attendance for my students. So my first word is frogs, and I type it in F-R-O-G-S. Okay, the iPod Touches have enhanced our, our academic program here. Um, we have standard curriculum we're given from the district, and we have standards that we, we need to teach, um, but the, the iPod Touches have given us access to information beyond what's in our curriculum. Well, as we look at the students that we're servicing uh, in 2011, we know that the students have changed, and they've changed quite significantly from when I started teaching. And so now it's our turn to, to kind of go through that transformation. And so I think when you ask what's different now than what was happening before, is I think we're, A, I think more receptive to the fact that the students are different, and I think B, we're taking action based on those changes. The iPods give me the ability to infuse images, sound, text, audio, video, like never before. So with the iPods, um, the students have this tool that has everything in it and it's super interactive. The iPod touches allow us to access worldwide information on a topic. And then the students can sort through what they think is important. Um, and then you can kind of guide that. It seems clear that the iPod has many high-tech uses. But the question on many people's minds is, what about using it to teach the basics, like reading, writing, and arithmetic? Yes, in, in mathematics, there are many applications that students use to practice their basic math facts, and I've seen a huge increase in their accuracy and speed, and it's a fun and engaging way for them to practice daily. I've actually um, given tests now and dedicated portions of the test to lessons that were with the iPod, so those questions were related to, to the iPod lessons, and the, the success rate of those questions is like 80-90% for, for all of my students. So the academics uh, related to the iPods, it's been a really big success. There's more collaboration going on as well, and with the iPod Touches, and we, we use a lot of apps that where the students work together with them and I think that's good, the group work, the collaboration I'm teaching them is something that we do in the real world in almost every profession and it's such an important quality to be able to work collaboratively and I think they're learning that with the iPod Touches really well. For my students using the iPod Touches, their enthusiasm and their motivation for learning has really increased and for me as a teacher, I'm learning new strategies and fun and engaging ways to teach my students. But the iPod Touches really enhance that they really create engagement. I think the students feel empowered by them. They really do. I think that the EITT program is successful because of the teachers that have dedicated themselves to um, bringing technology into the classroom. I also think that the program's been organized really well, and we've had lots of support and professional development, which has really allowed us to take a kind of what we've learned and take it to the classrooms. And I also think that um, it's the students and their, their, their willingness to kind of try it and really that they really want to do it, their enthusiasm for using technology. I think that the world is changing and we're communicating in different ways and we're using technology all over the place. And to bring it into the classroom, the students want to do it. So it's been a success just because of everything that's happening in the world. So you're all going to share? Okay, it'll be better that way. That'll be cool. Okay, good job. Keep going, guys. Thanks. Thank you.